and I so love this. We do have the two of cups coming together, but still we are afraid of something over here. We are concerned about something. This is about a soulmate bond that we might be, um, you know, worrying about, concerned about, stressed about, not knowing. We are afraid maybe of this bond, uh, you know, when it's too powerful and it takes a lot of energy to make it work. And Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless in your head, stressed about. Okay. Lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, why are you afraid about lo of, of love, um, Scorpio? Why? Why the fear? I mean, when we love, right? We need to love fearlessly. And we have, again, Six of Cups, simply love, a uh, soulmate bond. Remembering the good times. Beautiful. So let's cut the cards and see the uh, the bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week. The second one of April. And we do have reconciliation and strengthening bonds. I simply love this energy. Three of Cups. You might want to go back to somebody. Somebody might want to come back to you. And that is, of course, an offer on the table. For some of you, April is the month of reconciliation, right? Um, and somebody will come back to you if uh, that was your question. It is a new start over here. Um, but the connection you all, you already had a bond with this person, Three of Cups is coming together. It's going out for drinks, having lunch, chit-chatting and, um, you know, having that easy breezy kind of energy. Uh, the new beginning kind of energy. So Scorpio, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see the um, current energies right now on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for the second week of April. And again, you know how time is in, uh, in tarot. And we are working with energies. Take the lead. Somebody is guided, Scorpio. Somebody is guided to take the lead and make an offer of reconciliation and love. Be open about it. Um, be more practical because Ace of Pentacles, it's a little bit the guidance for somebody, right? This is kind of a hands down kind of energy uh, where we are very concrete about something and we make when we make an offer, might be small, but it has potential and it's um, stable and concrete and um, has potential again, right? We are not playing it small, might look small, but it has nothing uh, um, with the small energy, right? Now, Scorpio, we love this energy. We do have the Hierophant. Maybe it's a Taurus in your life. Um, and we have the Nine of Cups. So this commitment was like a dream coming true to you. Um, the Nine of Cups is the energy of wish fulfillment. All that you wanted from this person was commitment, right? I'm sure you gave it back. It is in your energy, the energy of commitment for the long haul, for the long term, building something solid, um, building something strong. And, and then and then it was the happiness that came with it and the happiness you are willing to give this person, right? And there was something about them that gave you this um, uh, sense of pride, um, sense of what you deserve and what you want right and they were uh, checking all the boxes um, and you wanted for the traditional type and some of you you've been married to this person and you've built something solid in the past right and uh, and it was good it was good now Scorpio this person uh, the person you are dealing with your soulmate um, they have the Three of Swords, Sadness and Isolation, and we do have the Two of Pentacles, Somebody Was in Pain. Uh, three of Swords, of course, is the energy of depression, anxiety, physical health, can be, you know, um, um, you know, uh, back pain, heart uh, situations and stuff, and the Two of Pentacles. So somebody was trying to manage the pain. For some of you, they might have been hurt by this connection uh, with you maybe something happened and um 
and in the process they got hurt and they got um you know um working on finding balance um in their life in their love towards you in their connection towards you in all kinds of energies that you uh, you and him or her uh, brought to the table um two of pentacles is the energy of um is the energy of um, working too much so maybe you were connecting with somebody um, taking extra responsibility having multiple jobs uh, trying you know to keep everything in balance and uh, doing their best actually in um, regards to this Mut let's see mutual energies between you and this person we do have the devil Capricorn energy and the four of swords uh, we know the devil is about toxic dynamics. It's about addictions. Um, it's about you know energies that were that are not flowing. Um, it's about fears. It's about codependency. So at some point, um, you know maybe someone was um, the teacher and someone was the follower. We do have the teacher here, the teach. Um, so maybe one is, was um, in a position of codependency with the other. Maybe one, uh, some of you came from a position of power and control while the other person felt a little bit overwhelmed and in need of balance and this is how we got the devil the master energy and then the four of swords probably there was a separation between you and this person because of um, toxic um, connection or your relationship becoming um, I don't want to say unbearable well, even though the devil is that kind of energy right um, might have become at some point and then somebody just needed to breathe you know four of swords in love readings it's about breakup it's about non communication it's the energy i need time to plan and think i need time to strategize i, I need distance and peace of mind and four of swords is also the energy of healing and i do believe this person of yours they asked for time to heal because a four of swords is right out after the three of swords and it is on their side the energy of hurt but of course you can swap uh, the energies because you can right um of course it depends on on where you resonate uh with the cards where are we right now we are in the energy of giving and receiving six of pentacles the energy of balance the energy of kindness we want to reciprocate feelings and we are still a little bit confused about something daydreams and decisions options um i feel more it's about confusion it's like i don't know this person i don't know why the hurt right i don't know what have i done because you you come to the connection from a place of love and commitment right and they got so hurt in the process so i kind of understand the seven of cups on your side it's like uh, well i'm confused if i offered love and commitment and you were the only person I wanted. Why the hurt, right? Why this need for time and space with the Four of Swords? And why the out of balance, right? So, uh, but you know they are the one, right? Six of Pentacles is the energy. No, no, I, I'll, I'll give back. I'll take care. I'll be, I'll be kind. I'll be generous towards this person, you know? Now, the person you are dealing with, we do have the uh, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and we have the Seven of Wands. They might be defensive a bit, right? This is the energy of fighting for space, fighting for time. <clears throat> it's the energy of asking to be left alone um, sometimes. Um, and probably it's the energy of them struggling with something because if you are dealing with the Sagittarius and... It's such that I said seven of wands, they are struggling with themselves. They are having their own, fighting their own demons, right? For some of you, of course, this is the energy of somebody uh, fighting to get back in balance. And we do have in the past, sadness, isolation, find balance. Now we have balance and choose your battles. So they are being strategic about. It. They know that the ultimate goal here is actually to be, you know, um, in a state of mind that allows them to be functional. Uh, to be in sync, to go with the flow, you know, have energies flowing, have um, things being accomplished and, and um, all this energy, you know, um, going in their favor. And for that, they are quite, uh, I, I, I'm hearing feisty in a sense that with the seven of wands is like, no, I don't want to go back to the devil energy, you know, that you guys had in the past. 
they don't want to go uh, back to breakup but they don't want to go back to the devil energy um the heart the sadness and isolation they don't want to be depressed they want to simply be in balance you know <clears throat> and probably this is what they are telling you and i do love this energy of the tower and the four of wands <clears throat> Because this is joy and stability and rebuild, right? You are both rebuilding joy and stability in your home. Four of Wands is the energy of marriage. So probably I'm picking up the energy of somebody being married here, a couple that's married. Uh, a couple of bumps in, in the road with the devil, four of swords, three of swords, you know, some hurt happened. And now everybody got wiser, right? On your side, you are a little bit, a little bit confused, but you come from a place of balance. And again, it's interesting. Six of Pentacles is the balance, right? This justice in minor arcana. They come from a place of balance, but kind of vigorously fighting to stay in balance and, and knowing the difference, knowing when they are um, closer and closer to out of balance. And this energy of rebuilding joy and stability. It is the tower, um, but it's paired with the four of wands. Celebration. Uh, weddings coming together community people and of course there is social distancing um, but it, this is about home this is about laying down roots this is about rebuilding roots actually um, in this energy and it was a hell of a boom for the tower moment to be right in the middle of the reading I'm sure it was a hell of a boom um, but it has potential slowly it has potential for rebuilding but again, somebody needs to, whoever this applies to, we do have choose your battles, right? Um, like any household, we have all struggles and battles and strategies and ways uh, to accomplish things. So somebody needs to really be smart about the way you go by it, you know, to, to rebuild roots over here. So where are we going from here, Scorpio? We do have the star card divine guidance and we do have the four of cups opportunity beacons um this is maybe turning um your back uh, to something and focusing on healing and divine guidance um this is you healing yourself of course aquarius energy this is you healing yourself this is you healing the connection and also uh dealing with emotions and of course emotions are your energy and you have it in the past, present, and future. You have nine of cups, seven of cups, four of cups. Of course, some food for thought for the missed opportunity, uh, whatever that uh, means to you. It is in your, in your energy for April. So, you know, if you feel that in this connection in particular, something is missing, well, now it's the time to heal that through divine guidance, spirituality, conversations, alignment, um, and simply healing simply healing whatever you feel is missing uh, make peace with it this is how i feel but of course you know better what uh, what is missing and what you need to heal in order for this to move on now the person you are dealing with they are still going through challenging times uh, five of wands internal struggle wanting to make peace with themselves with the rest of the world and we do love the new vitality they are still attracted to you. They still want to be playful, present, have a new beginning. Um, but seven of wands, five of wands, they are going through challenging times. It is a fact. Uh, they have this energy in the past. They have this energy right now and moving forward, even if attracted to you, but still struggling. Might be personal, um, might be internal, might be their own mind, might be a conflict between the, um, you know, the mind and, um, and the heart. Um, but again, it's part of the journey. Now, what we need to pay attention to, I would say, in the second uh, week of April, we do have the Ace of Swords, the communication card, but then it is the Eight of Swords um, energy. So, <clears throat> restricted communication, I would say, or poor communication. Maybe somebody is really attached to a way of thinking, and now actually we need to think outside the box with the ace of swords um we need to have this clarity of belief clarity of vision because we are bound here to something and the eight of swords if you remember is is the in traditional tarot is the blindfolded lady so 
I tend to believe probably the, um, you know, the feminine energies, um, Scorpio, they might, uh, you know, Scorpio, if you are a feminine energy, um, divine feminine, as we call it in spirituality, I call it less often, even probably I should do it more. Um, but, you know, blindfolded. That is something that you don't um, you don't see or you it's difficult for you to acknowledge. And this is what clarity of belief we might have to chase in the second week of April. It's also coming your way for some of you. And um, <clears throat> and it is such a beautiful energy. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. They are struggling more on your side. You might be a little bit emotional, but again, you deal well with emotion. It's your energy. Um, yeah, and they have some homework to do over here. In terms of zodiac signs, you have Taurus, you have Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. <coughs> so, um, Scorpio, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need. Let's see what we need to uh, focus on. We do have surrender stress. So you might be actually paying too much attention to something and stressing over something that maybe, you know, uh, it's not there yet. <clears throat> so it says, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come to your center. So it's inner work, actually. You are guided to do some inner work. Surrender to inner peace is, is one and the same energy. Surrender stress, surrender to inner peace. Be at peace, be still for a minute. Um, cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. I love this. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Anyways, quite interesting. Beautiful. It's inner work all the way scorpio all the way surrender your desire to control people so being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room so stay at peace and do not control people just because you feel anxious and we do have surrender to rest and sleep you really need to sleep a bit to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. And you do have surrender unhealthy relationships. I feel that I'm picking up, Scorpio, the energy of somebody um, in a connection that needs a lot of work, a lot of personal work, uh, couple work, because now you have surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And you do have surrender your addictions as the bottom of the deck. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Um, this is an amazing reading and you know why because now you have all your guidance and also the whole purpose of it is to rebuild joy and stability and you have the keys you have the keys to this and it is your inner peace stop controlling people relax take a break and surrender unhealthy relationships and addictions I mean yeah it's um, does look like a lot of work but I love, I, I love how the universe placed the pieces of advice. Surrender stress, right? And then surrender uh, rest and sleep. But it's, we started with surrender stress. Then surrender to inner peace, right? Once we send away the stress, we, we go back in balance. It's such a beautiful, beautiful guidance. But it is also, I'm not going to lie, a little bit of work. And awareness, right? Um... So, um, Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time.
Love you. Take care.